guys today is uh june 26 2023 and i wanted to come on so i can document this video um i today marks a day of remembrance for me um i had not done a video and told you guys what's been going on at my job and Hadn't told you guys anything, so I'm eating my lunch in my car today so I could do this video. Um, my job, okay, three weeks ago, was it three weeks? Three weeks ago on my Tuesday prayer, the Lord started speaking to me. And he told me that this is my season of manifestation. And that this is my time that I've endured a lot and now it's my time is what the Lord shared and told me about me um I was so into the Holy Spirit um and and worshiping at that time that I, I just was weeping and I was just crying out to the Lord saying thank you thank you thank you and the Lord just kept telling me this is your season of manifestation uh, I've never been told that to from the Lord before for me I've been told for other people but never for me so all I could do was cry so while I'm in the midst of that prayer and worship and I'm just listening to God and I'm just crying out to him at this point I'm just listening to him I got up and went to my bathroom and wrote I wrote on a sticky note the date that the Lord told me and I wrote manifestation this is your season of manifestation is what it meant I wrote manifestation on there and I wrote the date stuck it on my mirror in my bathroom okay this is that Tuesday. That Wednesday when we came, when I had to come into the office. I came into the office that Wednesday. Um, when I came into the office, we immediately had a meeting that was scheduled for like 8.30 a.m., which is the time we start work. So we immediately had a meeting with our vice president. And... The meeting, um, I gotta turn the air on, y'all. I'm burning up. Um, but y'all might not be able to hear if I turn the air on. Let's turn it on a little tiny bit. Because I'm in the car and I'm burning up. It's hot out here. It's like 70 some degrees. Okay, cool. I got it on the little one. So hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, and so Wednesday when we got to work, we had a meeting, and the meeting was that they were creating positions for our department right now we have before this meeting we had two team leads and then it was our manager now they are having they moved up the team leads but they moved my team lead who's my good friend over to the other side which is our our company have two businesses under it they moved her to that side so that left a they created a supervisor role and it's two of them but my other team the other team lead she moved up to one then they moved the other one over to the other business side even though we're one department it's two different businesses and so um we're all shocked did not know this was happening my team lead was crying she did not want to leave my side to go over to the other side and it was a lot of emotional it was a very emotional day and i did not record because it was such an emotional day so that opened up two team lead positions now they moved them up to supervisors that opened up two team lead positions and it moved it it made them those two team lead positions um because those two moved to supervisor positions that are now new left we needed another supervisor for it's going to be two supervisors on each each um how can i say it on each store business so 
And this is all in accounting, okay? So this leaves one supervisor position available in my side of the business where I work on and one on the other side. And then it left two team lead positions open on my side and one open on the other business side. With that said, I knew I did not want to be a team lead again, but I wanted, I looked at, after they put out the job description, keep, people kept coming to me. You're going to apply. I hope you're going to apply because you would be a great supervisor. I've been a supervisor before. Y'all remember in my vlogs, I've been a supervisor before. I've been a manager before and I totally did not want to do it again. So I said, I got to pray about it. I have to pray about it. I knew the Lord said what he said the night before, but I had to pray about it. I did not know what was going on. We was all sad and emotional. So to make a long story short, I went home that night. I prayed about it because all of my team came to me and wanted me to apply. Everybody on my team wanted me to apply. I went home and prayed about it. I talked it over with my son and my son pretty much like, Ma, I need you to do it. You need to do this. You qualify. You're qualified to do this. After doing that, I, pr I went in my room and I prayed. And do you know, I'm thinking I'm going to have to pray to God a couple of days. You know, God, we got to, we, I got to lay before you and all that. When I prayed to God that night, y'all, the Lord told me that position, that supervisor position was created for you. <laughs> y'all, I lied to you not. The Lord said I didn't have the weight. He answered me immediately. And he said that supervisor position was created for you. When the Lord said that, I said, okay, Lord. Okay, God. So then finally they put the position out. I read over the description. And yeah, I definitely qualify for the supervisor position. So we then, I didn't, I waited a couple of days after they posted it. Everybody kept still kept coming to me. You apply, you apply. I said, um, I told my lead when she asked me, I said, maybe I did, maybe I did, and I don't know. And everybody else that kept coming, I hadn't applied yet. And I said, no, I haven't. I have not applied. I hadn't even read it. I waited even days to even read the job description. And that night, my son was on his cruise. And that night, the day that he came home, but he wasn't even home yet, I... Um, was in my room and pulled out my work laptop and sent my resume to my I was working on my resume and fixed my resume up and sent it to my sent the resume to my work email um and then I applied for the position and that was a week after um I went ahead and applied for the position then a week after that we got an email saying when our interviews were today was my interview so this is why I'm recording this I got 14 minutes I gotta eat um today was my interview I had three I, I had to be in the office today I'm normally not in the office today I had three interviews back to back the first one was at 8 30 a.m the next one was at 9 30 a.m and the last one was at 10 30 a.m so I had to meet with the manager of the other business side I had to meet with the vice president of both sides together that our is our both our vice president and then I had to meet with my um my immediate manager um so now we are waiting for to find out who get the position um I don't know who else applied for the supervisor position uh, as far as on my team, just me and one other girl apply. Um, so I don't know who else apply. My son prayed with me this morning. We had a word of prayer. Um, I'm tired right now because those interviews stressed me out. Um, 
and I had to be get up extra early so I could make sure you know my makeup was on and all that because normally I put my makeup on at my desk but um, I had to be here extra early so I just wanted to come on and let you guys know I applied for the supervisor position and once I hear um, back then I will let you guys know if I got it or not and if I accept it so let me eat my lunch I will be back so you guys um I don't know if I'm starting this as a new video or continuing it through um from the video I started with um telling you guys that I uh, applied for um supervisor at my job and I think I told you guys how the Lord had told me this is my season of manifestation and I had the interview last Monday excuse me I had the interview last Monday I don't know when I did that video but I had the interview last Monday uh, with three different supervisors I think I did talk about that excuse me I just finished eating so I keep burping but um, today is now Thursday June 29th okay mind you God told me that it was my season of manifestation on May 30th y'all was working today I'm in the office today I just took my shirt off because I, it's hot out here I wanted to breathe a little bit um was working this morning and um got a message from my manager that she wanted to see me in one of the, the conference rooms and she named which conference room to meet her at i went into the conference room and her and the other manager of the other part of the part of the business um were both in there and they just started talking about all these good things about me as an employee um, they said that I prove that I pretty much have proven myself I've I've done a lot um, and then they offered me the position for supervisor and then she gave me the acceptance letter that I needed to look at and then she gave me another one that I would need to sign And I looked at it and it's way more than I even thought I would get it is way more than I have ever made while working it puts me on salary and on top of that, I get a, I get a bonus every year. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. I'm so humbled at what God has done. I'm so humbled at what he has done because I know this was nobody but God. I told y'all in the prayer we had last week that a change was about to happen. A change was about to come. And I believed it. And I know that God was speaking through me. <laughs> His word said he would do exceedingly abundantly more than you can ask or think. Y'all, he did more than I could ask or think with this. He did more. He did more. Don't give up, y'all. I'm telling you, don't. Don't give up hang in there I have been a ball of tears ever since they talked to me I cried when I was in there I've been crying at my desk and I'm not allowed to tell anybody until we have the meeting coming up at 3 30 this afternoon it's now 1 45 and so I've just been a ball of tears I've just been 
I'm humbled at what God has done. I, As I was at my desk, God said, you've been through a lot. You've been through enough. You've been through a lot. He did this. God did this. When God told me that this was my season of manifestation, I had no idea that it was going to be this because this was not announced until after he told me that. This was announced a day or two after he told me that. And when it was announced, it wasn't even a meeting in advance. It was when we got in the building, there was a meeting all of a sudden. And it was, I believe it was um, the next day after he told me, it was less than 24 hours that we got word that we were going to be having new positions to revamp the department. And uh, I know this was God's doing. I know this was God's doing. His hands was all in it. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful for what God has done. I have been here at this job for a little more than two years. Uh, it's been two years and three months I've been here. And I like the company. I didn't really, I, even though I applied for other jobs, I didn't really want to leave the company, to be honest, because I like the company. It's a good company. And they finally caught up to giving us raises to get us caught up to what we supposed to be making with our as our for our position i didn't tell y'all but they gave us another raise two months ago they gave us a raise in january and they gave us another raise to in april which boosted us way up and i was you know i was able to stay afloat you know, i was able to stay afloat and i i I love my department. I love the people that I work with and I didn't really want to leave the company. And so I now I see why God didn't let me get this other position that I applied for that is was going to make the same amount that I am getting ready to make as a supervisor and I wouldn't have been a supervisor. And I never thought I would come back to the place of being a supervisor again, but I do believe that God has allowed me to grow throughout the years and that God has allowed me to change throughout the years and God has allowed me to be a compassionate person throughout the years. And so I do believe that I am ready. And this company I work for, I, I literally am planning now that I got this to just retire from here, you know, unless, you know, and if I decide to be manager in a department and I'll go for that. But just to be part of a great company and a growing company at that that's been here for years and is still here and i am so grateful that god allowed me to stay here and build my career here as an account and being in accounting um just to do what's on my degree you know um is what I'm excited about because that's what I do and so now I get to be the supervisor of what my degree you know of what I do it took two hard years don't get me wrong the years were rough because we were making a little bit when I started and I took a big pay cut to come here but I kept having faith and one thing I can tell y'all is God did not let me lack God did not let me lack. God did not let me fail. He did not let me drown. You know, yes, some things got behind sometimes, but God allowed me to catch them up. He never allowed me to lose. And I just want to encourage somebody out there, just keep hanging on. Just keep hanging on. Just keep hanging in there because I know that this is the work of the Lord. I know that this was God. And God's hands is all on me and he's all on anything that I'm involved with. And so I wanted to let you guys know that I got it. I'm excited. These are not sad tears. These are tears of joy. These are tears of, of just being grateful and being appreciative to God for what he has done. I just thank God for what he has done. 
and what he's going to do. And I've been praying, God, let, you know, work with me. To, you know, you're going to have to help me run this. I can't do this on my own. It's going to have to be you. It's going to have to be you to give me the knowledge. It's going to have to be you to give me the things that I need to do and with my team. And so I just wanted to come on and let you guys know I got four minutes to get back and I have a meeting at two o'clock before they announced the meeting at 3 30 so I gotta go but I just wanted to come and let you guys know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask or think I love you guys thank you guys for your prayers thank you for covering me and I'll talk to you later don't forget to thumbs up the video don't forget to subscribe and guys be the best you that you can be I will talk to you guys later bye